Hey there, so this episode is a little bit different than the usual ones because I'm not in my kitchen and I'm not the one who is actually cooking, I'm just documenting who cooked. So I went to a diving trip last weekend and it was fun. We went to a blue water park in Alabama um, to certify some students. So I do scuba diving as a second hobby and I also do it as kind of semi-career maybe we can say. So one of the dive instructor over there, David Reed, he is a really good jambalaya cook. And today I'm gonna show you how he cooks his jambalaya. All this the is not American food, this is Cajun food. <laughs> True, not American food, Cajun food. <laughs> okay. Let's cook American food. But it's not American food. Well, it's not American food. Alright, we start by preparing our chicken. Just throw your chicken and fry it in some oil and let it fry and it's totally cooked. Like you want it to be 100% cooked. And just after you throw all your chicken, cover it with the lid and let it cook for like an hour, maybe 45 minutes, however it takes based on your fire and everything you have. While the chicken is going, let's go ahead and prepare our vegetables. Alright, while our chicken is cooking, let's talk about the vegetables. All we need is onion, bell pepper with so many different colors because you want your dish to be colorful and we need green onions and finally celery those are the only vegetables you're gonna need it's very simple if you want to add something more like carrot or anything else go for it but this is what we did all right now i'm gonna leave you with patrick patrick is also another dive instructor who was also working as a chef and now he's gonna show you some of the knife technique that it's a really great knife technique to learn I'll cut off the ends. This is one way you can do it. I'm gonna take a knife, I'm just gonna slice down that side. Slide into that little section right there. See the membrane? Take it down. Just run that knife along. Nice and easy. And remove it. And make sure you don't cut this side up. And that, you'll dole your knife with it. Just gonna run your knife through. Nice, even, Julian. Some peppers will be a little shorter than the others, so your Julian sticks might not all be the same size. Once you get them lined up, take your knife, cube it. Just like so. Nice and uniform pieces. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get it on a bias. You might get some excess right here. But you want that bias and you don't wanna do a whole bunch. If you do a whole bunch, you might bruise it. And you don't wanna be rough just like this. Look at that, I bruised it a little. You let the knife work. Yep, you just wanna gently rock it. You wanna use the whole knife. Alright, when your chicken is ready, remove it out of the pot and add your sausage and cook the sausage in the chicken water or chicken broth or whatever you want to call it. And then whenever your sausage is ready, also remove it and add your vegetables and let them cook. While your vegetables is cooked, hopefully your chicken would be cold enough so you can pull it and shred your chicken using your hand because we don't want the whole pieces of chicken, we want it to be shredded and we don't need the bones in the jambalaya. And as everyone know, it's not a Cajun food if it's not spicy. So let's talk about the spices we added. We added white pepper, cayenne pepper, black pepper, and salt. And there is more to it, but we're gonna leave it for later on. And then just add those spices to your vegetables mix while you're cooking it and the other person is shredding your chicken. So when the spices get to know each other and you finish shredding your chicken, hopefully by this time, if you didn't, I don't know what's wrong with you, Add back your chicken and your sausage to the mixture and add a garlic with them. And after you add the garlic, add a lot of chicken broth because we're gonna use that broth to cook our rice which we're gonna add later. And then David liked to add tiger sauce, shout out for LSU fan. Add your tiger sauce and then let it sit until it starts boiling. Of course cover it to keep as much broth as you can. And then when it gets to a boiling point, add your rice and cover it again until it's cooked and ready to go. And look at this plate. It was 
delicious. I don't really have any other comment about it except it was very very delicious. If you like this episode, please like and subscribe and share. Help me getting to a thousand subscribers. I mean, we have 555, I guess, right now. If everyone shared it with one more person, it's gonna get to a thousand. Alright, bye.